Hey guys, today we're doing a 12 team dynasty redraft. I'm super excited. It's the first thing we're doing after the Super Bowl and guys are excited to be in on these, you know, Super Bowl's over. We're getting hungry for fantasy football. Senior Bowl just happened. So now we've got a couple eyes on our rookies here. We're going towards the combine. There's a lot of action going on in this offseason, especially right now. So now is my favorite time to be doing 12 team redrafts. It gives everyone an opportunity to kind of see where their guys are and where they're going and who's grabbing who, especially if you're drafting with guys in your own league. It's kind of like a level up for the guys who aren't in these things. So join us every Tuesday afternoon. We're going to be doing a ton of these through the offseason because ADPs change, but guys' interests don't. So we want to be doing a ton of these. We're going to jump in here. I think we've got four, maybe five guys. We've got one, two, three, four, five, and seven guys on auto draft right now. That's okay. We're going to be doing a ton of these, like I said, in the offseason. So expect to get in on these Tuesdays afternoons. Um, let's go ahead. We're going to shuffle up the order here. We're going to go draft settings, draft order, randomized teams. What do we got here? We're in the ninth spot. We'll take that. Let's start this draft and we'll see where it goes from here. We're going to turn the volume off. Team one auto draft. Let's let's assume it's Jonathan Taylor. Jamar Chase. Okay. I don't hate that. Call me Ariana. Call me whatever you like. Is that weird to say? Jonathan Taylor. Alright, so a bit of a sweet spot there. Somebody got really lucky. Najee. DeAndre, both really good picks. You know, young backs, guys that you get excited about. Jefferson. Banana Wizard here on the clock. McCaffrey, why not? I mean, anything after the 1-4, I think people are laughing. Next, we got Dollar Bills. Dollar Bills, I don't know. I don't know too much about this guy, actually. Alvin Cook, okay. Right there, I was thinking, and there's Alvin Kamara. So I was thinking maybe it was going to be one of those two people. Um, but with the uncertainty with Kamara right now, we don't know if he's getting suspended. We don't know what's going on with him right now. So Dalvin Cook's probably the safer play. We're going to go... I can't believe Patrick Mahomes is slated to go ninth. We're not taking Pat Mahomes. Though, I mean, how do you go wrong, right? Um, Nick Chubb. I wish he was allowed to use his hands a little bit more. Austin Eckler, Tyreek Hill... Derrick Henry, if you want to win right away. Hmm. Maybe let's go Eckler. We're going Eckler. There's Tyreek. Nick Chubb. Derrick Henry. So Mahomes doesn't go in the first round. Brady Goat took Nick Chubb. He's here again on this turn here. Devonta. Imagine getting Derrick Henry and Devonta Adams. Like, damn. He went Joe Mixon. Good pick. C.D. Lamb. Not a big C.D. Lamb guy right now. I'm about to put out an article about why I think Michael Gallup is actually going to be a dynasty buy. So I won't be going after C.D. Lamb, especially at that price tag. Running back, running back. See, we tend to do this. I, I almost always go running back, running back. And it's not because I'm afraid to get a wide receiver in the first two rounds. It's just I feel like you're going to be able to get more value on wide receiver in the deeper rounds, especially when it comes to youth, right? I can't go Saquon. I've got him in a lot of leagues, but I can't do it. I took Javante. I really like Javante. I think he's awesome. I just... Actually, I, I'm really happy with that pick, especially if Melvin Gordon's going to take a hike. I'm, I'm okay with that. DK... Not a huge DK guy, especially because I don't know where Russ is going next season. Saquon Barkley is a good pick, in my opinion. I think that's where you should be getting him. I know it was only two picks later than what I said, but what do you do? Banana Wizard goes Cooper Cup, and Cooper Cup is an absolute beast. Maybe we should have considered Cooper Cup, Cooper Cup there. Mahomes finally goes. Then Kyle Pitts, pretty early for me, but it's, it's Dynasty, right? Like If he's the unicorn people think he is, then that's a great pick. Antonio Gibson, who I really like, but I know I... I'm probably not getting him in almost any league. Jonathan Taylor and A.J. Brown. That's a lot of weight on that line. I, I like that a lot. Josh Allen goes.
Debo. I don't know where to value Debo Samuel, to be honest. I think that's about his ceiling, though he did finish as, what, like, wide receiver four or something, so maybe that's not necessarily his ceiling, but I think we might be paying up for him. I'm just, I'm not 100% sold, but I want to be. Then Herbert went, Cam Akers, Traylon Burks, the first rookie off the board. I'm going to say this every single time we do one of these. Five XL gloves. He's a bit of a gadget guy. I'm not as high on him as a lot of people are, but he's talented. Stephon Diggs. I don't love Diggs, but where you're getting him at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Wide receiver 11, you're laughing, especially being tied to Josh Allen. Now it's dollar bills on the clock. I wonder where he's going to go. Guy went three running backs. J.K. Dobbins. That's a, you know, Dalvin Cook's only 27, so he's not exactly ancient. He's got three solid backs for the next X amount of years. Saquon's probably going to get a new deal or at least a new team. He's only making $7 million this season, so he might not have to get up, re upped, but he'll get extended for sure. Dalvin Cook is on that mega deal, and J.K. Dobbins is, he's going to be really good as long as that knee looks as good as it's supposed to. Now it's us here. Hmm. I really like Garrett Wilson. I really like Drake London. I think an easy comparison for him is Mike Evans. Um, but I actually prefer him as like an AJ Green prototype. I think he's going to be really good there. Aaron Jones. I think it's going to be the AJ Dillon. I think it's going to be 50-50 with him and AJ Dillon. Zeke. I think it's going to be 50-50-ish with Tony Pollard. Jalen Waddle. I don't want him as my one, but like we're getting to that territory, right? Like, hmm. Do we go George Kittle? Just get our tight end? I don't hate it. Aaron Jones goes. Brady Goat, he's up here. He's got two running backs too, and the next running back is Zeke. Not something I'd be doing. I wouldn't be hating Mark Andrews. If Mark if Mark Andrews makes around the, the corner, I'm gonna be very upset. Garrett Wilson, Travis Kelsey, Drake London. So the rookies go to Team 12. Team 12 needs to start thinking wide receiver. Jalen Waddle goes to Brady. Zeke Elliott. Now it's us. And we could have got Mark Andrews. Damn. All right. Well, here we are here. Need wide receiver. Let's see who we got. Terry McLaurin. I don't know who his quarterback is going to be. T. Higgins, we at least know who's throwing on the ball. DeAndre Hopkins. I don't think he lost a step. I really don't. Calvin Ridley, we don't know if he's even going to be playing. Got to remember that's not just for this season, which is why I'm going T. Higgins. Terry McLaurin's older than we think. He played a couple of extra seasons, or at least an extra season at Ohio State. Sure, that was Ohio State, but he's still there for too long. T. Higgins just had a, what, almost an 1,100-yard season, and he played 14 games. He was on pace for like 13.25. So Mark Andrews goes to Dollar Bills. <sighs> That's a good pick. The Nata Wizard goes David Montgomery. Then Nuke goes. So Team 5 needs a running back pretty quick. He's got, I mean... Pretty sexy wide receivers. And Patrick Mahomes. Team 4 goes Godwin. Then Spiller. I really like Spiller. But I think I like Brees Hall better. Actually, I do like Brees Hall better. And he... Oh, that's where he went. He's at 212. Of course, he's not around. Spiller's probably probably my second back, though. Ariana goes Jacobs. That's a good spot there. Kenneth Walker. I like Walker. I don't like CEH. You will not see me picking up any CEH shares this season. If I have any, which I, I think I've got them in one league, I'm trying to get out of them. Not trying. I'll sell them to somebody who's going to overpay me for them. Then Lamar and DJ Moore, who I like, but I don't like as my one. Though I shouldn't hate it because I think he finished at, like, what, wide receiver 12? Joe Burrow goes to team four. ETN. Deontay Johnson, that was going to be our guy. All right, Dollar Bills, who are you going here? Let's see. Bell Bills needs wide receivers, that's for sure.
And he goes wide receiver. He goes Keenan Allen. Elijah Mitchell. Damn. For some reason, that's about where he should be. I don't know where we're at. For probably running back 20-ish. I don't know. Um, let's see who we got here. What do we need? Need more wide receivers. Calvin really is such a stud. We just don't know if he's going to play. And he's not exactly young either. Isn't he like 26 or something? You know, it's not old. Chris Olave. I really like Olave. Michael Thomas. He's 28. Don't know who his quarterback is going to be. Amari Cooper. I don't know if he's going to be sticking around in Dallas. Mike Evans seems to be basically quarterback proof. Where do we go on the big board? It's Ridley, it's Alave, it's Dak, Thomas. It's not like we're missing out on any wide receivers, which is why we're going to go. I feel like we might be able to get Mike Evans on the turn, which is why I'm going to lock in. Give me Calvin Ridley. I'm going to pray that he plays. And it doesn't have to be for... It doesn't have to be with Matty Ice. I don't know if Matty Ice is the right answer there. Dotson, I like Dotson. I don't know too, too much about him yet, but I do, I mean, I'm watching a film on Dotson. I do like what I see. Brady Goat here. He's got a pretty good team. Mike Evans, ah, should have known. Chris Olave, Fanta. I feel like he knew I was going to go Calvin Ridley. I actually think that he thought I was going to go Mike Evans and then was surprised. And then he's like, well, sweet, I'll take Evans. And they went Jamison Williams. I love Jamison Williams, but I also love Alabama. So a little bias. Who are our wide receivers again? T. Higgins, Calvin Ridley. Do I just do it? Let's check out the wide receivers here. Don't love Cooper. Don't love Pittman, especially. I don't know who his quarterback. Like, where's Wentz gonna go? Jerry Judy. I don't. I like David Bell. I think go Michael Thomas. Obviously, both risks. But if these guys are healthy and for sure playing, they're second and third round players. Dollar Bills. Dollar Bills needs a quarterback, needs more wide receivers. It's a tricky one for him because the wide receiver talent just isn't there right now. Jerry Judy is a fine pick. I mean, he can't have a worse season. Then Russell Wilson goes to Banana Wizard. Miles Sanders, Leonard Fournette, TJ Hawkinson. If Hawkinson can figure it out, I mean, there were his games where he had like 14 um, targets, you know, and that was with Jared Goff. So let's assume that he kind of goes back to that. Amon Ross St. Brown's going to fade a little bit. DeAndre Swift was injured a ton this season. Hawkinson left early on the IR. So people need to kind of chill out with Amon Ross St. Brown. In my humble opinion. Ooh, I hate that. Michael Carter, A.J. Dillon. Oh, there's some values there. I like that. I'd prefer Dillon to Carter, though. James Cook. I think that's just because people like his last name. Banana Wizard. Where's he going? Elijah Moore. Oh, I knew it. That was going to be our guy. That was going to be our wide receiver four, and that's his wide receiver four. Dollar Bills kind of needs... This is kind of a free space for him right now. He's got what? Tight end. Three running backs. Two wide receivers. He should probably shore up wide receiver. Hmm. I don't know who I think he's going to go. When quarterback? Interesting. Dallas Goddard. See, I'm glad we got we got Kittle. I'm glad we've got Kittle because anything after this Goddard tier, like who's left off the top of my head, I can't really 
Noah Fant, terrific athlete. Dalton Schultz had a really good season. Fryermuth had a really good season, and everyone else, Dawson Knox maybe, Cole Komet hopefully, Irv Smith hopefully, and I'm only saying this because I've got them in a couple dynasty leagues. Um, it's us here. Let's look at the QBs. Matt Corral's all the way up there, eh? We're building all upside. This is our all upside team. That's why we win Trey Lance, baby. James Robinson. Okay, it's been working. Hollywood Brown. David Bell. Guys, I want you to watch his tape. Trevor Lawrence. Matt Stafford. Okay, quarterbacks are flying right now. I think, well, looks like Dollar Bill started that train. Jalen Hurts, then Trey, Trevor Lawrence, Matt Stafford, Kieran Williams. Ooh, okay. Betting on youth there. I like that. Okay. I do want to get Watson. If Watson so lands to me in the ninth, I'm taking him. I don't care. Kareem Hunt, back up. James Conner, not playing right now. Amon Ross St. Brown, I just talked to you guys about. I might go Allen Robinson. We need to start looking at running backs, though. Rashad White's a bit of a bowling ball. Rashad Penny. Again, if we're going all upside, let's just do it. Brennan Ayuk. Dollar Bills is up. Just took Jalen Hurts, so he's good at quarterback, so I don't imagine he's going to go there. Kareem the Dream. Another running back. Guy's only got two wide receivers. Nana Wizard. He's only got two wide or two running backs. Went Tony Pollard. Yeah. The only thing I don't love about that situation, I mean, and he was digging in like 40%, 60, 40 of 60. Like, you know, like he was playing quite a bit and he was getting schemed plays for him. It just, Zeke isn't going away. Zeke's there for like another three or four years at like 15 mil. So, but I don't know what his dead cap would be if he gets cut, you know, in 2023. So, but in that time, I think Pollard is up. So, I don't know. Dynasty though. Betting that he might be able to get himself his, his own job, that might be a good pick. Connor, Bateman, Pickens, George Pickens, Georgia. Juju, that's a good pick in the eighth. Mooney, Fant, Robinson, Sutton, Ramondre, that's a good pick. Frymuth, so Banana grabbed his, his tight end there. Dollar Bills is up. Grabs another wide out, you know. It's his third wide out. Tyler Lockett is a really, really, really good wide receiver three, so he's got to be pretty happy with that. It just sucks that, like, well, we don't know if Russ is going to be there or not. All right, we're up here. NFL waiver wire. What do we need? We need running back. Right, we knew that. Maybe we won't go after Deshaun here. Running backs. Edmonds. I don't love Edmonds. Rashad Penny. I don't think he's the complete answer. I just put out a video on this. I don't think he's the complete answer. I think he's more of a sell. But this is all upside, right? So Melvin Gordon. I think he's going to be sneaky good. We need running back, though. We can obviously wait on Deshaun. So we're going running back. We're going Rashad Penny. Dalton Schultz. Knew that was happening. Needs a tight end. Okay. 
Melvin Gordon. What's Brady at here? Is that his third running back? Ooh, I don't know if I love Melvin as my third, but... I mean, I don't love Rashad Penny as my third either, so... Kadarius Tony's a good pick. Tenth round? I like that. Mike Williams. Mike Williams could land himself in a really good spot because he's a free agent this, this summer. It's us again. We need a little bit of everything. Who's available running back? Maybe we could wait on Deshaun one more round. Singletary? I hate Gaskin. We don't know if Carson's playing. Daryl Henderson's a backup. One of the best backups in Alexander Madison. Jones, free agent. Sermon, we I like more than Kyle Shanahan does, and that's the problem. Cordell Patterson, I think he's 30 or 31. Raheem Mostert, I think, is going to Miami. And then it falls off the cliff. Gotta go Singletary. Singletary was putting in work towards the end of the season, you know. I think he finished the year at like 4.1 yards per carry, so... Good value pick there, actually. Uh, Dollar Bills' as receivers. Just, he's got some good value there. He's got Lockett and Cooks in the last two rounds. Cooks is sneaky. Banana Wizard. You're kidding me. I'm so mad at you. I knew it. I don't know if I said it out loud, but I... Ha. <sighs> Beckham's a good pick. Woods is a good pick. Chark. I'm so defeated. Chark. Rodgers. All right, so I guess guys are going after their second quarterbacks here. Renfro. Matt Corral, eh? Now, if we had Deshaun, would we be playing him over Trey Lance? Honest answer? Probably. But the capital that we invested in Lance, we almost want to be wrong. So just for this draft, even though it's the all-upside team, I hope Deshaun doesn't play football. Sorry, Deshaun. Not sorry, Banana Wizard. Miles Gaskin, I hate it. Henderson, don't love it. Madison. Honestly, Cook misses two to three games every single season. That's a fine pick by me. Um, Trey Sermon back there at the at the two. Why not? I, I want him to be a thing. Michael Gallup is an excellent pick. Banana Wizard is sniping me left and right. Kadarius, Michael Gallup, oh, it's Dollar Bills, who's he going? That's where it kind of gets dicey, right? Like... Justin Fields, okay, so he, everyone's jumping on the second quarterback here. Chris Carson, I hate that pick so much, so I'm glad I, it doesn't bother me. It doesn't affect me. Let's see who we got here. ADP big board, Trey McBride. Dawson Knox is still there? That doesn't make any sense to me. He's still on his rookie deal. He's young. LaVisca, Kenny Galladay, Adam Thielen, Hunter Henry, Tyler Boyd, Kenny Pickett. wonder where Malik Willis goes. He hasn't been gone yet, has he? Still some young tight ends there, but I do like Dawson Knox. The guy catches touchdowns. At quarterback, ooh, it's thin. There's Malik. What's the flex like? Telling us to go tight ends. Wide receiver. How many do we got now? We're good on wide receiver, right? We got four. They're not beautiful, but do we just go youth? Screw it. I'm getting our second tight end going Dawson Knox. Upside. Josh Allen throwing 50 touchdowns. Maybe 60, maybe 70. 
maybe a thousand. And they're all going to Dawson Knox and not to Stephon Diggs. Went on a bit of a tight end train there. Kenny Pickett, really? Chuba, that's a good pick. Kenny Galladay, us again. Don't need tight end. Just a reminder, we are definitely drafting kickers and defenses. So is still there. Do I go Gabe Davis? I think I go Gabe Davis and just sell him because everyone is all like, oh, Gabe Davis breakout. Upside, baby. We're always waiting on dollar bills. Uh, good pick. Gus is really good if he gets to play. And he has Dobbins. So that makes way too much sense. Then Thielen goes... Sorry, guys. Rojo. Patterson went to Banana Wizard. That's a good pick. He's old. He's going to be relevant for another season or two. But the flex availability is awesome. I love that. Chenault goes... Kenning and Gainwell. That was going to be our pick on the way back. So now, instead of Gainwell, I'm looking at Khalil Herbert. So let's see if he's still alive when, we, when he gets to us. Sony Michelle, Rondell Moore, thought about it, but instead we went who? Instead we went Gabe Davis. Komet, Jones, Julio had like less than 500 yards and like 31 receptions. It's just a really good blocker now. No surprise. Banana Wizard goes Evan McPherson. Dollar Bills, who are you going? He goes kicker too. I'm not going kicker. Tom Brady. Who did I say I was going? Oh yeah, Khalil Herbert. Yeah, I like that pick. There's a bunch of rookies that I really, really, really like that would never get drafted in a redraft. Um, I think if we were doing a redraft, a real one, we would do 20 rounds, but the 15 round, 15 round ones are nice. Um, there's not too much thought. You gotta just see the guys who really actually matter. Then Russell Gage went. He did all right. He got tons of targets. He just couldn't do anything with them. I think Russell Gage is a wide receiver three with wide receiver two upside. And when I say that, I mean like, I just mean, yeah, he he can't take the number one corner, but he can surprise you when he takes the number two. Daryl Williams is a really good pick. Kind of forgot about him. I like Williams. Then Mike Davis, now a kicker, Jason Myers. Surprise, Myers is, what, kicker three? Terrace Marshall, yeah, why not bet on the youth? Nagger. It's me here. There's Ziggin. I'm Zagan. I'm gonna go... I love me the Buffalo Bills defense. Then I went Nick Folk. Rams defense, why not? They just won the Super Bowl. Banana Wizard went another kicker. Okay, really playing it safe here. 
he obviously didn't like the whole the whole uh, Myers at three. He got a little disrespected there. Butker should be higher than that. Butker should honestly be kicker three. You know, Ariana. Bass, Carlson, Steelers. Steelers are defense three. This is going to be all Brown Steelers, or Brown Steelers. It's going to be all Brown defenses, is what I meant to say. Banana Wizard. Bucks. Yeah, why not? I definitely don't think the Chiefs defense before the Bucks, or the Raiders defense. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> it's the joys of auto draft, right? We gotta fill these things up next week. We're always waiting on dollar bills. Will Fuller. Really? Guy hasn't been healthy since like he was 11 years old. But yeah, let's go Will Fuller. Titans. Well, we've got to go kicker. Rules are rules, right? Prater's there. I like Prater. I like Zerline. Obviously, I have him favorited. Dumb, dumb. Um... Well, that's good because there's only like four starting kickers left, which is why we'll go. Do we go Prater? Do we go Koo? Going Koo. And the Eagles, Jake Elliott. Brady Goat is disqualified. He did not draft a defense. And then the Texans. So looking at it quick. I mean, let's look at our roster first. Let's break her down. Trey Lance, Stud McMuffin. Austin Eckler, Javante. T. Higgins, Calvin Ridley. If he plays, big baby. George Kittle. Michael Thomas. If he plays, Allen Robinson, depending on destination. But he's a free agent. He is not getting... He's not getting franchise tagged again. We know that. Bills, Penny, Singletary. So like RB3, RB3. Tight end one. Wide receiver. Three upside. But on our bench, that's cool. I love Khalil Herbert. I don't I think he's getting like disrespected. But looking at these here, let's see who we think has the best team. Just a quick scanner. Well, team one is starting two rookie running backs. And then probably Jamar Chase, which is, I mean, they had the 1-1. But then St. Brown and Mooney. Yuck. Call me Ariana. Has Taylor and Jacobs. Lamar Jackson. Noah Fant, who is criminally underrated. He just doesn't put it together. If he gets Aaron Rodgers, though, A.J. Brown, Debo Samuel, and Pittman. I like that team. Three, Harris, Gibson, so youth and youth. Herbert, Spiller. Wide receivers are weak, though. DJ Moore, Claypool, which we never really know, and we don't know who his quarterback's going to be. Pickens, Robinson. He's got some rookies. He's got Chark. Don't love Team 3. Started off hot, though. Team 4, Swift, Pitts, Akers, Godwin. I like Godwin. I really like Godwin, actually. Godwin. Burrow, Fournette, James Cook. Wide receiver two is Bateman, then Sutton. That's where it falls off for me. But I guess that's that's the cliff you climb if you if you grab pits early, right? Team five, Jefferson, Burks, and Hopkins. That could be deadly. Then Mahomes. Running backs are Etienne and Sanders. Then Damien Harris, James Conner, and Ramondre. I actually like team five. Team five is pretty sweet. And Mahomes can be giving you 40 points at any moment's notice. McCaffrey, Cup, Diggs, D 
Deontay Montgomery. Banana Wizard has a pretty sexy team. Banana Wizard's winning right now. Dollar Bills win. Cook, Barkley, Dobbins. So three sick running backs. Mark Andrews, who finished at tight end one. Allen and Judy. Allen is really good. I really like Keenan Allen. Jerry Judy, who should be better. Jalen Hurts, who I think finished at QB four, maybe five. Kareem Hunt. Ooh, I like Dollar Bills too. Lockett and Cooks. Because Cooks was playing with Davis Mills, who looked like he had never played football for the first, you know, X amount of games. And Cooks was still putting up putting up damage. So I like Dollar Bills too. Dollar Bills has the running backs. Banana Wizard has the wide receivers. Team eight. Kamaran Mitchell. Okay. We can, I mean, depth falls off a cliff though. Rashad White and Chris Carson. DK, McLaurin, Cooper. I, I know you lost me, teammate. This is us. Echo and Javante, who I really like. I love that. Kittle. Hard to hate that. Higgins, Ridley, Thomas, Robinson, Trey Lance. I really like our team too. We need a couple things to go right, but I really like our team. Team 10. Tyreek and CD. And then he went Dodson. Like, there's just... I would have went Mike Evans. Or... Mike Thomas. Or even... Well, I guess you can't go Amari Cooper if you've got CD, but like... Dodson was a reach. A big reach. I don't like that. Aaron Jones, Zeke Elliott, who I think are both going to be timeshare backs. James Robinson, who were... I think, best case scenario, the timeshare back. And then Williams, no. Team 10, you lost me, man. Brady Goat. Chubb and Mixon. Nice. Kelsey. Nice. Waddle, Evans, Jamison Williams. Who, there? It's a good spot for him. I mean, you could go Thomas. I, I probably would have went Thomas. But Williams is five, six years younger than him. Jerry Judy. I, I probably would have went Judy, too. But... I mean, you're always, it's a lottery ticket, right? And worst case scenario, you still have Hollywood Brown. So Chubb, Mixon, Kelsey. Wide receivers are strong. I don't love Matt Stafford or Tua. But where he was drafting quarterback, unless he wanted, I mean, Matt Stafford's, what, five years younger than Aaron Rodgers? So Brady Goats, fine. Team 12. Henry Adams, okay. Then Garrett Wilson, Drake London. So we went rookie, 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 Olave, and David Bell. And Devonta Smith isn't exactly a vet. And his running back, too, is Chase Edmonds and then Mike Davis. Team 12, yikes. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to check out Underdog Fantasy. Use promo code FWW for 100% deposit match guarantee. Deposit $100, get $100 in free money. So you've got $200 to play with. $200 to enter best ball drafts, to beat the bank, to just win more money. That's what it's all about. So check out Underdog Fantasy. Use promo code FWW. Hit me up on the socials. Check us out on Twitter. We're NFL Waiver Wire. It's worth it. I'm a, I'm a pretty cool guy. Anyway, thank you so much, guys, and I'll check you out in the next one.